All right, a staggered stanced hinge or deadlift. You want to stand with your feet about hip width apart. You're going to keep your hands kind of at your ribs and your hip bones, or you can place one hand on your back, one in front, and you're going to hinge over. So you slide one foot back, keeping all your weight on the front leg. So that back leg, it's just propped up on your toe. Not much weight is going on it. So you want to make sure you're keeping your ribs and hips stacked over one another the entire time, hence why you are holding and making sure that you're keeping those lower TAs really turned on as you do this as well. So you keep a slight brace and you want to keep your hips in line with one another. So you can angle kind of internally rotate one leg or the other if you feel that you're turning out, especially on that back leg, just simply turning that knee inwards a little bit can make a big difference. And again, see how I just rotated right there? You wanna make sure you rotate, keep your hips one in line with the other. And you're keeping all that weight on that front leg, that leg that has the foot staying flat. And if you feel more on one side than the other, then you know you've got some imbalances going on. So we just have to work on getting those glutes to turn on, getting your core to work, and really getting things in line. But this is a great way to really focus on keeping everything in line and working.